This matchup has the potential to be special. We could be moments away from an instant classic. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches. And this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. What grace! Float over and DDT! Fight them! Challenger's starting to slow down a bit here. But he certainly comes oh, into this championship match with a ton of momentum. Yeah, he's taking oh. on some offense here, but that's what he expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. Yeah! Nasty kick to the face. Uh oh, no, don't do this. Boom! <laughs> to close this one out. Now 19-16. Nice. Shut it down. The situation just got real bad for Sami Zayn. Mix it up, good oh. Absolutely planted. To me, the most dangerous part of Finn Balor's coup de gras finisher is that yeah. Balor can crush an opponent with it from anywhere. Balor can fly from the top rope, the ring apron, heck, even off a ladder. into some unseen energy source. Corey, what you talked about earlier is yeah. crucial for the success of the superstars. I think Finn Balor's due for a little target practice. Oh, you're not lying. Here he comes! Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. And Finn Balor might have just secured the victory. Looking for the finish. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Corey, Finn Balor's shoulder injury has been well documented. Suffering a torn labrum that put Finn out of action for seven months. Yeah, it did, and now it's a huge target for any of Finn's competition. Any game plan devised to go up against Balor should be centered around tripling his surgically repaired right shoulder. Load over. Oh, and, oh man, that hurt. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Recognizing the game plan Corey devised, it's easier said than done to even catch Finn for long enough to apply that pressure to the shoulder. Oh, shoulders down. Championship on the line. And a kick out. Not even close on that. Gonna take a whole lot more. Finn Balor going high risk. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Hootie Gras. That's how you put an exclamation. Shoulders on the mat. Digging deep for a kick out. Wow, I thought this was over. He's not going to like this. He's teetering on the edge here. 19-16. Now that's how you successfully defend your title. The situation just got real bad for Sami Zayn. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Finn Balor perched on top. Here it comes. Cody Ross. That should do it. The champion into the cover. The champion retains. That had to be one of the matches of the year. Let's take another look at some of the action. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget.
I'm not easily impressed, but that was one of the most entertaining matches I've had the pleasure to see in a while. Here is your winner, and still the Intercontinental Champion, Finn Balor. And it's a win here tonight for Finn Balor. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. Social media has been buzzing over this Raw match ever since it began, and now that it's over, I actually anticipated intensifying.